you saying, hey, people want apartments, and you saying, no, people want home ownership. <laughs> and I'm saying, I clearly don't know which of those two they want, but whatever we're building is going to satisfy both of those. <laughs> <laughs> right? um, but I, <laughs> when I look at it, I agree that I think the apartment business right now is in a softening, right? We know that there's, what, 5,000 more units coming on the market than there should be demand for them, and all of it is in this $3 plus a square foot range. And you're starting to see people give two and three month um, concessions on that stuff. And so I think from an apartment end, that's already there if that's your product, right? We had a 0.87% vacancy rate in our product last year, but we're just below $2 a square foot, right? So we play in a different market space. Less amenities, really nice apartment. We think what, what we're waiting to see is how this, the $3 rents, you know, getting two months concessions trickle down to our market, right? And so I think you're at the beginning of what is that, you know, whether it becomes flat for a couple of years or whether you see a reduction in rates in the high end of the market, we're not sure, but it's here right now. Um, and I, I personally believe that the, the home ownership over the short term is going to go up. But long term, I think, Richard's right, there's going to be more people that there's just such a pent up demand for these people that haven't bought in that demographic range. I don't know that as a percentage of that demographic, it's more buyers. It's just so many people that haven't have delayed that buying process that you're gonna see a, a run on for sale stuff over the next couple of years.